Hey guys, so I thought this was a fun one. And instead of doing it all by just guess and check, I wanted to see if we could figure out how to get Wolfram Alpha to solve it for us. I'm interpreting this as a three digit number where the blue, the red, and the white are the three digits of that three digit number. So if we had three, four, and five, then this right here would be 345, not three times four times five. And I'm pretty sure that's the way this was meant to be interpreted. So how are we gonna get Wolfram Alpha to solve this for us? First, let's label the blue one X, and X is gonna be defined between zero and nine because it's just a single digit, and we need it to be an integer. And same thing for red, we'll call it Y, and we'll call the white one Z. These are all gonna be between zero and nine, and they have to be an integer. If we wanna plug this into Wolfram Alpha, we can't just put X, Y, Z, because Wolfram Alpha will automatically multiply these. So the correct way to do this, the X is in the hundreds place, so this will be 100X, the y's in the tens place, so this will be plus 10y. And then the z's in the ones place, so it'll be plus z. And then same thing for the red, red, red down here. We can't just call this y, y, y. It's got to be 100y plus 10y plus y. And we can combine like terms here to get 111y. So these three red dots can be called 111y. After we add these three up, it's going to be the same thing as these three red dots. 100x plus 100x plus 100x is 300x. 10y plus 10y plus 10y is 30y. And z plus z plus z is 3z. So both of these are equal to the three red dots, so we know that they're gonna be equal to each other. And this looks important, let's put a box around it. In fact, let's highlight it, and let's highlight this up here as well. So everything I've highlighted in yellow, we wanna tell that to Wolfram Alpha. So first thing, we want it to be integer, so we're gonna type integer solutions. And then we can tell it that we want x, y, and z all between zero and nine. And then we'll put a comma, and we're gonna finish with the equation that we had. The 300x plus 30y plus 3z equal to 111y. So now if we hit here to compute the input, it gives us these solutions right here. So the 0, 0, 0, that's the trivial solution. Let's test out this solution. We have the x is equal to 1, the y is equal to 4, and the z is equal to 8. 8 plus 8 plus 8 is equal to 24, and then 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 4 is 14, so we have the 1 and the 4, and then 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. So as you can see, this did end up working out. So we managed to get Wolfram Alpha to solve it for us. How exciting.